Are you all settled? Do you think you'll be comfortable? Ah, yes. My room, it is beautiful. The house and all of you are wonderful. You've made me so happy. We're glad you're here. Ah, oh, you be me. your mother's vacuum cleaner back. I borrowed it. Who's that lady with your mother? Is she an aunt of yours or something? When I was watching, I saw her kiss you and she's pretty old. She must be some kind of relative if she kissed you. Well, I just thought I'd tell you I Brought your mother's vacuum cleaner back. I thought you might want to know. Boy. What? What did you say? Say, do those bands on your teeth hurt? Oh! You, mon frère, I'm a burden on you, huh? I'm your black. Certainly not. You are my brother, of whom one can boast. He drinks wine from a water cooler. That's something few people can say. I made only one mistake. I married a woman who wanted a career. Felix, she wanted this career at dressmaking. She demanded it. And I, a man of promise, was forced to retire and dream. Never marry a woman with a career. She'll walk on your feet all your life. I'll try to remember. You are welcome here, Louis. Just close your eyes and let the storm pass. You're a brother worth keeping. Fox returns! They were a million names. Desmond, it cannot be. Are you taken by surprise? Sur oh, surprise is not the word. You should be on the road, selling. No, you are confused. Now, how can I be on the road when I'm here? Oh, no. Jack, uh, give me a hand with the other suitcase in the car. Hello, Louis! Desmond, you are home. I am home. But you, my red-nosed brother, you are once again the traveler, eh? <laughs> Let us celebrate with the best wine sold in Canada. Compliments of my company. Oh. Uncle Desmond! Bibi! <laughs> you trip, Uncle Desmond. Were there many adventures? Well, you know, Bibi, where Desmond's horse is trod, no grass will grow. I do Whatever not understand. What are you doing here, Tawa? Have you lost your job? No, the sales manager lost his. Uh, Bibi, bring us some glasses. What do you mean? Yes, uh, he's dead. He has unscrewed his billiard table. So the office sent for me. To offer you the job? Well, an office, a desk, a secretary. And you said yes. No, I said no. <gasps> I'm not a rich man. You said no. Why? You should see the secretary. Oh, Desmond, you cannot be serious. My dear brother, I like to travel. I have no desire to settle down. So, I said I would stay here in Ottawa until they find another sales manager. And then, I'm gone again. Mes frères, Thank you, à votre bonne santé. The clan has gathered. Desmond, you don't need wine. You are a tonic to yourself. Well, see you at dinner. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. Look, a jewel. The finest garter on the stage today. Say, that's the cat's whiskers. The garter of Mademoiselle Fifi, Sonia, and Martinez Leroux of the Casino Burlesque in Montreal. <laughs> this is one for my collection, baby. Now, let me demonstrate how I fought for and won this gem of the burlesque. Move over. Now, watch carefully. It was a hard fight. We are at the Casino Burlesque. You're the man sitting next to me. He is an old hand at this game, an expert in the art. He has a bigger cane with a silver band on it. But I have the quicker eye. We are evenly matched. Now observe. Mademoiselle Fifi prepares to throw the garter. The drums roll. The trumpets blow. I, you will observe, have brought my cane to the thrusting position. And now she throws it! I have it! I have it! 
Go back to your water cooler. This is not how it happened? This is not how it happened. Oh, this one. Oh, oh hello, my old oh. <laughs> So, this body, you have not yet been shot by an unhappy husband. But uh, what's the occasion this time, huh? The widow Latouche is waiting. Hamley! Oh, it will unscrew your billiard table. Believe me, not even a young man can go out every night dancing and never sleep. Something will collapse. Maybe the arteries or the veins. The one who knows of a better way to die will he step forward. What? I'm off, gentlemen. Someday you will see. Our father will be coming home from one of these capers and suddenly... First the doctor, then the priest. Ah, oh, well, he's right. The one who knows of a better way. I'll help you unpack him, Desmond. You will indeed. We have a maid now, and a mignonette. All right. To help him off. She was a magician with the vaudeville show. With, you understand? With. She said, hey, voila, and also, pop. Name of a golden pigeon. I'm Desmond, the brother. There are many brothers. Madame's in the kitchen. Oh, dear. Uh, allow me. Now your stockings are so. Made without blue paint. Desmond. Hello, Suzanne. You're looking well. It is nothing, Madame Mona. An accident. I'll go up and change. The accident is you being here. You couldn't have come at a worse time. On the contrary, the timing seems perfect. But what about your job, Desmond? Desmond? Now, first things first, Susanna. We'll explain everything to you later. Where are they? I've hung up the new garter. Superb. Do you have the card ready for this one? Uh, the card can wait. Uh, more important things on my mind at the moment. Uh, Bibi, uh, Maggie Parry, do you wish it? Oh, merci, Uncle Desmond. I'll take it to school and trade it for baseball pictures. It's very popular, but only with the boys. Uh, I have observed that myself. you over the vaudeville. Uh, you like to travel? Hmm? No, I don't. So, I love it. The spirit of adventure. I am not adventurous. Oh, but you are, or you wouldn't be living in this house. It takes great courage to live here, believe me. Uh, especially when uh, uh, Saint Louis of the water cooler arrives and all the brothers Bonnard are together. Have you met Grand Père? Oh, there's the white wolf to beware. Now, wait. I'm going to give you a token for your great courage and daring to live here. A medal. No name of a green sheep. Well. I would like a pair of long pants. 